Hi everyone, this is Austin from Robles, and today it's it's freaking hot, and it's summer. Summer is here, and yeah, it's like 85 degrees out right now. And I don't know where you live in the world, but for us in Western Washington. That's really hot, and it's perfect for me right now. It's not too hot. It's just it's just nice because we're not used to this in Western Washington. We don't get this kind of heat. Um, Eastern Washington gets a little more, but uh, yeah, I think they're in like the triple digits right now. So, anyways, uh, this video I wanted to talk about how you can stay cool. How you can lower your body temperature um, during the summer when it's, it's crazy hot out and you need to cool your body down so you don't get dehydrated and all that sleep messes that happens when you're dehydrated. It just tumbles and there's so many bad things that happen to your body because uh, we're water-based beings and we need to be at 70% water. And when we fall below that, our body isn't working at optimum potential. Um, so first thing we want to do is um, eat foods that are 80% water or higher. So watermelon is going to be your best friend in the summer. Watermelon is going to be your best friend. Um, mangoes, grapes, uh, well, any melon really. Uh, watermelons the highest water content though. Um, cucumbers, kiwi, you know, berries. Just, just get high water content fruits this summer. Um, my favorite are mangoes and melons. Mangoes and melons. And just make those your staples. And if you eat enough of those, you won't even need to hydrate yourself and they'll lower your body temperature. Mangoes and watermelons are extremely cooling. Um, and they'll lower your body temperature. They'll make it easier for you to do things in the heat. Um, they'll make it easier for you to get outside. You know, and don't be afraid of the sun. So get out there and uh, get your body on the sun and eat the fruit. Uh, watermelon acts as a natural uh, sunscreen, sun protectant. So eat the seeded watermelons, eat the, eat the seeds. They help a lot. And so that's one thing. Eat, eat the high water content fruits. 80% or more is going to be the best. Um, if you can't do that, drink distilled or alkaline water. Um, you know, purified water. If you can't do fruit because you have to stay hydrated, it's it's so important. And um, fruit's gonna be the best. It has the you know the natural distilled water inside it already. It's it's the easiest water for our bodies to digest. So fruit's going to be the best. Um, second would be water. Um, coconut water is even better. Coconut water is amazing for when it's hot out. Uh, cools you down, gives you electrolytes and minerals, all that good stuff. So coconut water, um, fruit juices, you know, raw fruit juices are going to be good as well. And yeah. So it's really important to stay hydrated, your water and fruits. And another thing that can help when it's hot out, uh, cold showers. Um, you know, start off the day with a cold shower or go out in the sun for an hour or two and then take a nice cold shower midday. You know, because that's when, like, the sun is at its highest peak. And if you get a sunburn, 
uh, cold showers help a lot. Um, they actually like dilate your blood vessels so that the the sunscreen uh, doesn't look as red. So that's going to be your first first protection against the sun is cold showers. Um, I love it. Swimming in the ocean. Uh, swimming in the ocean is amazing for your body, your skin, and reconnecting with the earth, honestly. Um, it's more than just getting out in nature with the trees, um, you know, swimming in the ocean and reconnecting with that, uh, that water is really important. And it's just a great way to cool off. Uh, get in the ocean. Don't go into those indoor pools with like chlorine water and stuff that's so bad for your skin and your body and stuff that you should not be inhaling, frankly. So get to the ocean, take cold showers, eat the ripe, raw, high water content, juicy fruit, drink water. Um, and don't stay out in the sun too long, like, be reasonable, like, obviously you want to get out there, and you want to absorb that vitamin D, so you, you're not depressed, um, it's so important, but, you know, keep it in moderation, a few hours, and then take a break, you know, so you don't get all burnt up. And so, yeah, just util utilize the shade. Um, if you're outside and you feel like you're too hot or whatever, see if you can find a shady spot. And um, you, still get, you still get vitamin D in the shade. You still get good rays, some of it, uh, filtered through. So, yeah. You have to have a good balance of sun and shade in your life. So make sure to find that balance and make sure you don't overdo it in one way or the other. You know, don't stay indoors too much. Don't stay outdoors too much. Although, you know, I'd probably lean more towards the outdoor side of things. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, fruits are the greatest for hydration. Um, oh, also frozen foods. Uh, frozen fruits, particularly. Uh, if you want to freeze bananas, freeze mangoes, freeze melons, make ice cream. Oh my gosh, nothing is better than sitting under the sun and eating like a big bowl of banana and ice cream or watermelon and ice cream or mango and ice cream. Oh, it's the greatest. So, make nice cream, uh, make little popsicles with fruit juice, you know, get creative. And don't eat dried fruits, don't eat, like, uh, a lot of bananas or a lot of avocados, like, foods that aren't really high water content, just try and limit them during the summer, um... These fruits aren't really in season and they're not really necessary. Uh, like keep those for your, the winter season where you want to eat warming foods because they're not as high water content and they're going to take the water from your body because they're not 80% or more water. So just try and limit those things. Dried fruits, um, nuts, and cooked food. You don't want to have cooked food in the summer. It's going to dehydrate you. You know, it's going to take away your water. And so fruits. Fruits are the best in the summer. Fruits are always the best. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And it is so beautiful out here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, make sure to eat raw and stay blissful. Peace out.